Hi, welcome to my channel. So I've done a few videos before about Irish baby names and I was requested to do a video about more unique or uncommon Irish names. So I put together this list of boy names and I'm gonna do another video on girl names so make sure you subscribe if you wanna see that. And I'll go through the unique Irish boy names now. So the first name is Don Cuan and it means, Don means brown and Cuan means little wolf. So I guess it would mean little brown wolf. And it's pronounced Don Ku. Un, Don Cuan. Don Cuan is a name I've never heard before, but when I did my research, I found that it was actually hugely popular back in the early centuries, hundreds of years ago, um, and it was hugely popular among kings. I think there was the King of Leinster was called Don Cuan in the 900s, and I really love this name. Um, as soon as I heard it, I thought it was just such a cool name. It reminds me of, you know, in Italian, they say Don when they're talking to someone with respect, someone that has a lot of power, so, um, you know, Don Corleone, so. I really like Don Cuan. The next name is A and it means fire and it's pronounced just A. Um, I think some people do pronounce the D, I guess depending on where in Ireland you're from, so it's either A or Aid. Um, but I think the more common way is A and it's spelled A with a fada, E-D. And I think that's more the old traditional spelling. I think now it's more common to spell it A-O-D-H but it's a name that comes up in old mythology and old folklore and it's usually spelled that traditional way. The English version of A is Hugh, and A was the god of the Celtic underworld, A. The next name is Sivrahuk, and it means noble judge. Um, Ser means noble, and Brehuk means judge, so noble judge, Sivrahuk. And is pronounced Sivrahuk, Sivrahuk. So a lot of these Irish names do have English variants. Some Irish names are just Irish, they don't have any kind of English version of them. But Sivrahuk does. And then a lot of the Irish names that do have English versions, you can kind of tell because they're a little bit similar or sound kind of the same. But I couldn't believe when I found out what the English version of Sivrahuk was because it doesn't sound at all the same. <laughs> but the English name for Sivrahuk is Justin. So if you want to name your kid Justin, but want the Irish version, it would be Sivrahuk. <laughs> the next name is Crahur, and it means lover of canines. And there's a lot of debate over the way this is pronounced. Um, a lot of people argue about this. Some say Cunivar, some say Conkvar. Um, I learned it in school as Conkvar, which apparently is totally wrong. Um, but I think the correct way is Crahur. And I know a lot of people are going to argue with that, but I checked with an Irish specialist and they said Crohor. So that's what I'm going to go for. Crohor isn't a very common name in Ireland these days, but I think every Irish person knows the name Crohor. Um, no matter how they pronounce it, we all know Crohor because um, he was a big name in Irish mythology. Crohor MacNessa was Cú Cullen's uncle and Cú Cullen is Ireland's greatest ever hero warrior. So um, we learned all about Crohor MacNessa. And um, nowadays, um, it's not used really in Ireland much, at, if at all, but um, the more modern version of this name is Connor, and Connor is very popular. There's a lot of Connors in Ireland, so um, if you want to go the more unique and traditional way, it would be Crohor. The next name is Angus, and it means one strength. Ain means excellent, and Gus means strength, so excellent strength, so it means one strength. And it's pronounced N. Gus, Angus. It can be spelt with an O or an A, E-N-G-U-S, Angus. And I think a lot of people know the name, the English version, Angus, and um, you know, Angus Young, Angus Beef, right, <laughs> Angus Beef. Do people know Angus Beef? Where do I get that from? Anyway, Angus. The next name is Rucka, and it means battle. And there are a lot of different variants of Rucka, and they all mean battle, um, but they all start with Ruck and have different endings. So, Rockatus, Rockatus, Rockets, Rockety. <laughs> um, so a lot of different endings, but they all mean battle, and I guess you can choose which one you want to go for. The next name is Avra, and it means very wonderful or noble, distinguished person, and it's pronounced Avra, Avra, and it's spelled with a fada over the A, so A fada M H R A. This is another one that is very unique. I've never met an Avra. I've never heard of an Avra, but it's actually a very old traditional Irish name, so Avra. The next name is Grua, and it means giant, and it's pronounced Gru-a, Grua. 
I actually researched this because when I was thinking about Grua being giant, I was wondering, you know, I am Groot from Marvel. I was wondering, is that where the name came from? But it's actually Groot is the Dutch word for large. So they're both kind of similar, Grua and Groot, both meaning large giants. So I don't know what came first, but there's definitely some kind of link or inspiration there. So um, if you want to name your kid after Groot from Marvel, the Irish would be Grua, I think. Grua. <laughs> The next name is Slevin, and it means mountain or mountain climber. It's pronounced exactly as it's spelt, Slevin, Slevin. And I included this one because um, I know people might be looking for some unique Irish names, but want something that's a little bit simpler to spell. I think a lot of Irish names um, are quite difficult. Even for Irish people, they can be difficult to pronounce. So um, if you do want a unique or uncommon Irish baby name but don't want it to be a lot of trouble with pronouncing it then Slevin would be a good one. The next name is Macabon and it's the old Irish word for bear and it's pronounced either Mac-a-von, Macavon or Mahon, Mahon and I think um, the way it's pronounced is just where in Ireland you're from you know we have four different provinces and they tend to pronounce were Irish words and Irish names differently to each other. So I guess depending where in Ireland you're from, you might pronounce this name different, but I'll go for Macavon. It's not common these days, but it was a hugely popular name in the Middle Ages. Macavon was a king of Munster in the 10th century, and another Macavon was um, the brother of Brian Beru. Brian Beru is a figure that we all learn about in school. He's regarded as one of the most successful monarchs in Ireland. The next name is Satanta, and it's an old mythical name meaning son of Sultan, and it's pronounced Se-tan-ta. Satanta. Um, I mentioned Cúchulainn before, he was Crohor's nephew and um, Cúchulainn, before he got the nickname Cúchulainn, his name was Satanta. So a lot of people would know um, Satanta from the legend of Satanta, the legend of Cúchulainn. It's not as popular in Ireland these days. There's a sports channel called Satanta, Satanta Sports, and um, I think most people when they hear the name Satanta, they would associate it with that sports channel. So. Uh, um, it's not as popular a name anymore, but um, it's a good old Irish legendary name, Satanta. The next name is Ardkill, and it means from the high church. And it's pronounced just as it's spelled Ardkill. Ardkill. And um, the reason I included this one is because kill is quite unusual to have in a, in a person's name. It's really common in place names because it means church. So, you know, Ardkill from the high church. So um, any places that are near a church or that have a church in them, they'll usually incorporate that in the place name. So like Irish counties, Kildare or Kilkenny. But um, I don't really know any Irish names that have kill in them, except for Killian. And Killian is a hugely popular name. And Killian does mean little church, but um, Ardkill is a little bit more rare. And I might have a ton of people now being like, are you serious? Kill is hugely popular in all these names that you've totally forgot about. I'm sorry if I forgot them, but um, yeah. Anyway, art kill. <laughs> the next name is Aki, and it means horseman, and it's pronounced Ak-i, Aki. So for this video, I went for the simple way of spelling it, which is O-C-K-E-Y, but um, you can also spell it O-C-H-A-I-D or E-O-C-H-A-I-D and I think that depending on how it's spelt it slightly changes the way it's pronounced. I think some people could pronounce it Aka instead of Aki or Aquidge um, and I think again that's just depending on where in Ireland you're from and so I'm just gonna go for the simple Aki. So Aki is a very old traditional name of kings and chiefs and a very famous Aki in old Irish mythology was in love with the fairy Etan so um, very old, but very uncommon name. I don't know any Aki's in Ireland these days. Maybe there's a ton of them and I just haven't met you yet, but I don't know any Aki's. <laughs> the next name is Christor and it means Christ bearer and it's pronounced Cree-sto-er, Christor. And um, it's spelled with two fadas. So C-R-I-F-A-D-A-O-S-T-O-F-A-D-A. IR. And Christor is the Irish version of the name Christopher. And it's not as old as the other names I'm saying. It's quite modern. When I say modern, it's still really old. I think it only became popular in like the 15th century, whereas a lot of the other names are kind of like er very early centuries. So Christor became popular after the legend of St. Christopher. The next name is Aleby, and it means White Hawk. 
intelligent or noble and is pronounced ale b ale b or ale b ale b so it can be spelt with or without a h in it so a i l b e or a i l b h e in the medieval times ale b commonly had a h in it but these days if there's a h in it people generally think it's a girl's name ale b um, so Aelva is actually hugely popular these days. It's a really common name, but Aelby is very uncommon. It's not used much, even though it was hugely popular hundreds of years ago. Nowadays, it's quite rare. Aelby. The next name is Nuada, and it means protector or to acquire, and it's pronounced Nu A Da. Nuada, and um, Nuada is probably. No, it is definitely the oldest name out of all the names I'm mentioning. It's probably the oldest name in all of Ireland because in old mythological legends, Nuada was the leader of the first race of people to ever set foot in Ireland. So basically the first leader, the first person in Ireland was Nuada. So I don't think you can get any more traditional or any more early <laughs> than Nuada. And um, the legend goes that in battle he lost an arm and he had one made out of silver. And Nuada was also the name of a legendary high king in the 11th century BC. So this is such an old name, the um, definitely the oldest out of all the names I'm mentioning. But it's very uncommon these days. There's not a lot of people called Nuada. The next name is Lauros and it means from Laurentium, which is a city known for its laurel trees. Um, Lauros. And it's pronounced Lau. Ross, Lauros. So the Anglo-Normans brought this name into Ireland in the third century and it was hugely popular and is still used today, but it's definitely not very common in Ireland. It's quite unique in Ireland, um, Lauros. The next name is Moel Hochlin and it means servant of St. Hocknell. And the way it's pronounced varies. I think it depends on where in Ireland you're from, like with a lot of these names, um, but the way I'd pronounce it is Moel Hochlin. Moel Hocklin, but I think a lot of people would pronounce it maybe Moel Shocklin or Meal Hacklin. There's probably other variants, but um, you know, something like that. Moel Hocklin was a very popular name among ancient high kings of Ireland and comes up a lot in old legends. Um, one very famous Moel Hocklin was um, a rival of Brian Baru. And Brian Baru, um, as I mentioned earlier, was the brother of. Macavon, right? I'm forgetting my names. The legend goes that they were rivals, but then they came together to defeat someone else. I'm not going to go into the history, but um, they were rivals and they came together. It's very unique these days. It's not very common, but um, it's a good, strong name. Moel Hochlin. Next name is Burn, and it means from the brook. And it's pronounced burn, like you burn your finger if you put it in fire, burn. Burn is one of the most common surnames in Ireland. I think it's um, third most common after Murphy and Kelly, and there's burn. And there's so many burns out there. I'm a burn. My maiden name was burn, and there's so many of us. But as common as it is as a surname, I've never heard it used as a first name. And um, the difference in spelling, the surname burn is spelled B-Y-R-N-E, and the first name Burn is spelled B-U-R-N-E. I really like it. I love it as a first name. I think it's very cool. So that's it. They are my top Irish unique boy names. If um, there's any names you want me to do in a future video, please let me know in the comments below and I'll include that on my list. And I'm gonna do the girl version of this um, soon, so make sure you subscribe and hit that notification bell. So if you like this video, please give a thumbs up and thanks for watching. Bye.